Today is my first day since I arrived in Tunisia where I'm traveling solo. Though I've been traveling solo for the past four months, I met a group of travelers in the hostel and we were exploring the streets of the old Medina together. But this is technically my first day exploring on my own. I am in the main street of the capital Tunis, Lehbib Bourguiba, and I'm really excited to bring you guys with and share with you if it's really safe to travel Tunisia, especially as a solo female traveler. The plan today is to make my way to Qartaj. It's an important historic site here in Tunis. I'm trying to find the tram to make my way there it's pretty busy out today because it's a saturday where i'm so excited to bring you with and show you around this beautiful country just arrived to my first site in Qartaj, birsa hills and when i got off of the train usually you can walk uh, but uh, I started my day a little bit later, it's already 1 p.m. so I have to hustle but I ordered a taxi through Bolt. There's uh, this uh, application, you can use it in uh, uh, Tunis because Uber is not allowed so you can use Bolt instead and it's actually pretty secure because a lot of people are a little bit hesitant around the world when they use Bolt but the good thing in Tunis is that Bolt is only allowed for taxi drivers so if you're not a taxi driver you cannot use bolt uh, which is really good so that guarantees uh, safety took bolt dropped me right outside of this site and oh my gosh the drive from the train station to get to birsa hills so many beautiful mansions it's just incredible so that could make for a good walk but anyway this is one of uh, about seven sites here in uh, Carthage. you get to any site really and then you get your tickets 12 dinars and you can use it to visit every site and it's valid for the whole day i think until 5 pm versa hills is supposed to be the most beautiful site out here because you can see the gulf of tunis from the hill up here it's right there the gulf of tunis and then behind me there are a bunch of ruins really really beautiful the view from here especially with clear skies is just so incredible This right here is what's left from the Phoenician settlement because at some point everything was destroyed by the Romans and you can see that there are two levels. Up there, there are some columns and construction from the Romans. There's a forum and then later on, a church was built right there. But in this level right here, which feels kind of underground and that's probably the reason why the ruins, well, the Romans couldn't get to it. It's right there, you can see some of the houses where the Phoenicians lived when they settled in this area. It's pretty impressive. So much history here and so many things to learn, but I can't, I can't just talk about everything. But two things, two things that I want to share with you guys. So this right here, or these right here, actually some tools that were used in the kitchen by the Phoenicians. This tool was used for grinding grains. And uh, you see the material that's used to make this one is actually lava stone and there is no volcano in Tunisia. These are coming all the way from Italy where there's actually Mount Vesuvius that I visited when I was in Italy or Mount Etna in Catania, two big volcanoes in Italy and that's where they got the material to make all of these. That's impressive. I mean Italy is kind of right there but still took some effort to get all of that transported right here in Tunisia. The second thing I want to share with you guys, this is a little bit sad. The Phoenicians, they were known for sacrificing their kids to the gods. And there's actually another site here in Carthage where you can see and experience that up close. But even right here, I was surprised to learn that these are actually caskets and they're all around the place where the Phoenicians deposited their babies before burial breaks my heart talking about safety well, as a female traveler i think uh, i'm having a positive impression so far uh, obviously i still have to stay here longer to to really know but uh, i am pretty comfortable just walking on my own i am comfortable even walking by myself in the old streets of the medina which i did the uh, earlier and then the other day as well my main concern when i travel in areas that i'm not familiar with is sexual harassment verbal harassment specifically and sometimes I think that I might be treated differently uh, because I'm of Arabic ethnicity, especially in uh, Arab speaking countries. Maybe my experience is different from someone of different ethnicity, like European travelers maybe. And I feel like with the other tourists in general, uh, people are less likely to 
sexually harass you because you know they're a little bit more careful with tourists uh, a lot of people or locals are afraid of getting in trouble with the with the you know just the police and the authorities but uh, for me uh, it can be sometimes positive experience sometimes negative some people once they know that i am of uh, moroccan origins they're so excited they're very welcoming they're willing to give me more than i'm asking for they're willing to show me their country and be really nice and kind and all but sometimes if they see that or feel that they can be more prone to approach me especially men flirt and sometimes cross the limits in a way that makes me feel uncomfortable but overall most of the people that i have met and seen today and over the past few days they are respectful and i feel really comfortable traveling out here by myself the other thing that i have noticed is the fact that women uh, because i keep comparing with morocco you know that's like my reference point uh, women in tunisia are treated a lot better compared to women in morocco and they have better human rights in general like women rights specifically because their president Lahbib Bourguiba made it one of his priorities is to make sure that women are treated well in Tunisia which is amazing and I honestly can feel it I can feel a huge difference between how women are treated in Tunisia and in uh, Morocco and also they have uh, a law for uh, sexual harassment verbal harassment too where people can go to jail for two years plus a fine on top of that if they are involved in some sort of sexual harassment which is super cool and i ask a lot of locals around whether that's just a law or it's actually in effect but it's actually in effect and people do actually go to jail because they harass women verbally that in itself is a huge positive in this country just arrived to the Roman amphitheater. It's about 15 minutes walk from uh, the hill where I was at. This is not the biggest amphitheater. There are actually a lot of Roman ruins all around Tunisia. This is not a really big one, but you can see some of the remains from the amphitheater and they have some maybe prisons all the way down. just hit my third site today and I really like how in the ticket that you purchased they actually have the name of all the sites and every time you go to a new site check in with them and they just mark it and I think this is cool to just keep track of places you've seen places that you should visit but uh, this is the burial site where the Phoenicians used to sacrifice their children this is an example of one of those burial sites and I think this is the largest cemetery from the Phoenician period which is pretty impressive now when you stop by this site there isn't a lot to see but this is pretty important history look how beautiful i am so glad i made my way here these are the this is the punic port of uh, Carthage, and there are actually a bunch of small boats right there and you can see the water on the other side with all the hills this is incredible and i actually just saw a person who just uh, set off to go paddleboarding which i think it's a neat activity to do out here this is this is incredible and one thing that i noticed here in tunis tunisia country, everywhere i go the water is so clear and so blue when i was in hanamet it was just like that and then here too like you see far in the distance the water is super clean it's amazing 